building a kingdom or even modern civilization from scratch too easy try to find an anime family who has both parents is very functional and no winces between children it is borderline impossible in anime only spy family has managed it actually Saki and Mark means the criteria and both have even psychic abilities as I said only spy family do you know how long it takes anime characters to start dating choose a dedicated partner and maybe eventually make babies a whole series and there is a kicker getting a child is the easy part compared to being a great parent and supporting a partner during all that chaos the needed development is considerable that is why twilight can go from being a bachelor to having a wife and a child in two episodes but still there is so much to explore that is why i love how similarly to forex Civilization games, the Forger family unlocks the tech and units. For example, Lloyd is becoming a great father. He has come a long way since episode 1 when acquired a daughter and unlocked giving a hand to a child tech. Currently Lloyd has moved to much more advanced tech like maintaining a balance of healthy boundaries. On the one hand, enforcing an appropriate give and take, moreover, Using in episode 7 learned an understanding of a child's mental limitations and the need to adopt an appropriate communication, in this case making as clear as possible conditions. Anya can watch the cartoon, but afterward need to study. If Lloyd was not as competent, he would make implied conditions in the agreement the child would not understand them due to limited mental capabilities and it would lead to disobedience. Punishment in such a situation would be unfair, even abuse due to the child not learning from the experience because does not understand the cause and the effect. Also, even despite Anya's resistance, Lloyd enforced the agreement to keep the authority, not set a bad precedent. If he caved in, it would encourage manipulation, lying, etc. to get wanted, creating bad habits, mindset. Moreover, sometimes you need that extra push to start, like me asking to sub and like. On the other hand, due to episode 7 events, Lloyd understands that it will be a marathon, not a sprint, and too much forcing her to study will be fruitless. So, he correctly attempts to adapt find the best approach by trying out different things. Also, use techniques such as analyzing mistakes together and suggesting how to better remember. It is very commendable that Lloyd used in episode 8 Discover Tech tangential enabled learning by tapping into what Anya is naturally curious about. His overall attitude towards her failures is also great, calm, even encouraging when she fails to down. A lesser parent would stubbornly try one and the same thing again and again or demand from the child results without providing tools useful feedback. Maybe even get angry which would create unnecessary stress possibly cause an unhealthy mindset toward the mistakes. In the nutshell, the result is a combined effort of student and teacher. A toxic mindset is created when responsibility is shared on only one side. Also, due to different affinities, the approach needs to be flexible. I felt so great when for all Lloyd's efforts, he unlocked a fatherly pride perk. But he's not the only one who gets better. We have seen your getting more involved in rising Anya and her confidence increased as a parent and partner, not to mention the cuteness machine. I really enjoyed Anya's infamous schemer cringe face and it is so ironic how she subconsciously copies Twilight. Children really imitate not so much what parents say, but what they do. Although it is not so surprising, Anya already has learned from your and tried to apply the lessons. A student of world class spy and assassin thoughts a dangerous 
but cool combo waku waku funny manga spoiler we even see the result in a side story Th that is why i hope they will make all us about them no wonder that anya has such a great life she's so amazing by being a telepath and having so cool parents move all over lloyd and Jor are so loving that are ready to risk their lives for her also pretty wealthy to send Anya to such a prestigious school and even make that event in a castle. Becky is so great friend. Hashtag blessed but this shows only one side. Anya so much struggles even hates to study because has been traumatized by abuse from scientists. Is afraid to be abandoned due to being an orphan. Moreover a few times has been returned to the orphanage by foster families. Classmates isolate or even bully Anya because of her family's social status. It's much easier overwhelmed, especially in crowds, due to her special ability. Not to mention being kidnapped a few times. Social media lowers people's mental health by showing a highlight reel of other people's lives. Only hush and blessed moments by making unfair comparisons we feel down because of how unfair the world can be. But by seeing the other side, full of struggles helps to snap back to reality the sad truth is that humans are not built to be happy but to survive so much that even if there are no problems the mind will come up with them that is why as i have already mentioned in previous videos cognitive behavioral therapy is so helpful this duality is also why anya feels so real we see not only her weakness such as she does not want to study getting bad grades and can be such a klutz but also strong sides such as the usefulness of telepathy victories are so sweet not despite but because of hardships what makes the forger family so great is that they not only amplify the celebration of success like with the castle but also have each other's backs provide support during hardships we have seen many times one of them going into a downward spiral but being snapped out of it by others that is why nobody wants twilight going for cigarettes and never coming back or having lo loving animal dead fate not living past 40 both options being very possible due to his work i also appreciated as always great foreshadowing we got info on how quickly to earn stella also about pool and physical therapy it takes only some deduction to see the outcome similarly about your being proud of anya and the outcome <laughs> at least this time she did not broke ribs like with yuri <laughs> so please comment what makes a great family what techniques mindset makes a family better anya getting a stellar star might seem like deus ex machina if we think more about it then it is really a because the reason why they were in the hospital was because Lloyd tried many different things and it is because he is a good father. Moreover, we see how much Lloyd tries again and again and again. And of course, he is not perfect. Sometimes his temper gets better of him, but he also understands that he needs to support Anya and your has his back and that is why it is so great to see that his hard work pays off and feeling that the fatherly pride is really end moreover what makes a family the father mother and child and it's automatically family or is it a pro process uh, where you learn where you level up where you gain experience where you make mistakes but also where you succeed and i think that really we must emphasize that there is simplistic view what is a family only people who live together and so on and then there is a deeper view that it is bonds that is why i really love this found family thematic like forgers but also like fairy tale or black uh, bulls and so on that people who are not related by blood but they have four bonds and they are family and it is also like one piece all about family that the luffy screw is his family and how he liberates each of them this is why this dynamic is so precious when yor and lloyd are proud about anya and anya learns from parents and it is so wholesome and it is so rewarding